Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, as you see the title today is kind of strange, uh, but uh, uh, you see the title really is not really important for me, but what is behind the title. Uh, someone sent me a message saying, what do you think Christian Prince about uh, David Wood? I noticed lately that is some Muslims they are going between my page and the page of David Wood. So in my page, like you can see it yesterday, <clears throat> somebody posted something against David Wood. And I blocked the person. And I saw in David Wood in the other day too, more than once actually, I was like, uh, uh, because now he's doing like afternoon, and afternoon usually I go for a walk sometime. So he go live, and I put it in his channel to see what, he's, you know, what you guys are saying. Uh, and the same people, who they are Muslims, they go there and they act as if they are Christians and they say, hey David Wood, why Christian friends speak against you? Always you need to remember that the devil, he would do his best to divide us as a Christians. Divide and conquer. So I will tell you what I think about Christian friends so the Muslims will not play their games with us. I know that the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 14, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. I understand. I understand that you are following the devil, Allah, and you think you can divide us and so you can conquer. I understand, my friend. Eh, I don't know if I can say my friend, the one who friended the devil, I cannot friend him. So we understand totally the plan of your God. And this is why Christian Prince actually, he re refused always division between Christians. This is why we don't allow anyone to play the game of Catholic and Protestant, which Muslims always they play. They go in a chat room. The guy, he is from Egypt, he is from Somalia. He, suddenly he's a Catholic or he's a Protestant because he knew there is some fool right there. They will take the bait. Always there is somebody is fool who they can fool him. There is, you know, like now in the chat they go and say, "Ah, what do you know? The Catholic are not Christians." And then the Catholic will respond, and they knew how to play the game. And the fool is always there. So we Christians we should be always vigilant. Always vigilant. Anyone he divide us, he is serving the devil. Obviously, he is no Christian, even if he claim to be so. So be careful, don't be stupid, don't let them play you. Don't be a fool. The world is full of foolish people, don't be just another one. Right? Now, as long as this person who sent me a message, I think he's a Muslim, but he is using a Christian name, and he said he don't want his name to be mentioned. But I, I don't know, I have a feeling that he is a Muslim. I have a feeling, I don't know. Uh... And this, like, uh, don't tell my name is like uh, to cover up. Supposedly, he don't want. Uh... I will tell you what I think about David Wood. But let us hear David Wood for a second first before we tell you what I think about him. And Muslims were telling the world that Muhammad was the greatest man of all time. We told the world that Muhammad had sex with a nine year old girl. How did Muslims respond? Stop lying. Everyone knows that Aisha was 18 years old when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had sex with her. We can prove it by cutting and pasting an article by one of the biggest liars of all time. But we kept going. We showed that Islam's most trusted sources agree unanimously that Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old girl. We showed that the Muslims who were claiming that Aisha was older were lying. Even Muslim scholars had to tell Muslims to stop lying about this. Don't apologize for the truth and don't distort the truth. There are, there are Muslims that try to deny this. Oh, he didn't marry Aisha as a young girl. Yeah, look, that's not the way forward. We don't lie for the sake of our religion. Astaghfirullah. We have the truth. Absolute, absolutely. So what is Daqiyah, you liar? <laughs> anyway, the topic is about what do you think about David Wood? Actually, I wish that there's many David Wood. Uh, this brother, he is doing his effort as much as he can to reach out to as many as he can 
he do acting, he do, uh, I mean, this is a lot of work. So do I like David Wood? I would, why I would not like him? The problem is we don't have many David Wood. The problem, we don't have many Sam Shamoon, right? Uh, we, we need more of those people. So when they try to play the game and say, uh, uh, you know, they go in the chat of David and say, Christian Prince, why, uh, David Wood, why Christian Prince don't like you? That is a Muslim trying to divide us and following the devil plan. Who said I don't? Uh, maybe somebody will say, once you made a video to uh, correct David Wood, so what? He can make a video to correct me if I'm wrong. We are brothers. You see, if you go and read the book of Acts, the book of Acts, those are the disciples of Jesus and they are sending messages and letters to each other to correct, to explain to each other. We are a family, my friend. So we all have jealousy for God and uh, we will not let somebody come like a rat between us and divide us. Don't let them play you. Never let them play you. Let me make it clear. David Wood is not only a good guy for me, you know, exposing Islam. Actually, I like him even way more now because in the beginning I was not happy with the approach he do. He was soft. He was very polite. And I understand, you know, he grew up in America, etc. But he need to understand, and I wish that he will, and he did actually, that those are following a savage prophet and they believe that when you are polite, you are weak. You know what I mean? Because this is what the Quran taught them. You see, Quran made the Muslims or Muhammadan believe that if you are a Christian and you are nice, that's not because you are following Christ. No, that because Allah, he curse you in chapter 3, verse 112. Allah, he bitch over us, over us. A shame, as you see. When somebody is ashamed of himself, what he do? Like he's nice, supposedly, you know, he put his head down. They think, they think that we have shame on us. This is why we are kind and nice and polite. And this is why the Christian, they should understand that when you approach the cult of the devil, Muhammad, you don't do the same you speak to somebody is a Hindu or to somebody is a Buddha. Because those people, they have wrong understanding of your kindness. So for for long, I wanted David Wood to be more bold, straightforward, uh, say it as it is, and don't be polite with them. Because as you see, they think when you are polite, they think you are weak. When David Wood, he debated, uh, debated with the, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, David Wood, he, you know, he, he, he exposed this uh, Muhammad Hijab. But because he was so polite, the Muslim, they thought they are the one who win. You see what polite can do? So the one who was doing mockery, even though he is lying openly, because he was doing mockery for them, he is the winner. Mockery. This cult understand the language of mockery. Not respect. When you speak about, you know, look, I when I speak about Muhammad, what the Muslim they will say to me, Christian Prince, is that how Christians talk? Uh -huh. You are no Christian. Christian don't talk like this. Okay. So when we are a Christian, you you say to us, chapter three, verse number one twelve, shame put on you, which means you cannot do mockery of us. We can mockery you. We can do shame on you. We can shame you. How you can shame us? Hmm? So they make fun of you when you are a Christian and the second you speak with mockery language, they say you are no Christian. So you cry 24 hours, seven days a week saying, leave Christianity, don't be Christian. And the second we start spanking them, they say, don't be, this is not a Christian talk. This is not how a Christian talk. Right? They don't want you to be Christian until you start spanking them and the second you spank them they say oh please come back as a christian supposedly 
<laughs> so for those cowards who come here and play the game, and they go to David Wood and they post text saying Christian Prince don't like David Wood or he attacked David Wood. You are a liar and you are a fraud like your prophet and we knew the game. Uh, I wish that many Christians will be like David Wood, like Sam Shamoon, like uh, Anthony, many uh, good people, you know. Uh, I cannot name them all, but, uh, but still there are a few, those who they are fighting the cult and the garbage of Muhammad. So... Do I like him? Why I don't? Actually, I like him more even now. As I said, look, right away he starts saying things as it is. If you go in his videos, uh, David Wood lately is more straightforward and he is not being polite as before with the garbage of Muhammad. And I like that. Never be polite with the devil because the devil understands politeness in a wrong way. He understands it as weakness. Right? So, if anyone, he say, Christian Prince don't like David Wood, he is not only lying, he is a Muslim for sure. Don't let them play you. Uh, we will be live on air in my other account, and this is the link for those who like to join us. Uh, we will be there in 13 minutes exactly, or 14 minutes from now. If you like to join us, please join us. This is the link in the chat. Oh, why oh, I cannot post it. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm posting in the wrong. Hold on. Uh, all right. This is the link if you like to join us. All right. We will be live in the other account, which is called the Quality of Life, if you'd like to join us and invite your friends. Uh, and I will be happy to see more of you be like David Wood, Sam Shamoon, uh, Anthony, and, uh, you know, many, many, I mean, many good names. Uh, may the Lord bless us with more real warriors who took time and effort from their life, even they put their life on the line. You know, there's many topics, there's, uh, you know, there's, like, uh, uh, there's people who make videos about uh, the beach, okay, and uh, how to make uh, take nice uh, pictures, and uh, blah 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 blah, you know. And uh, they, nobody hate them. Uh, a person he have four million subscribers, and his job is to do what? To go around the world and eat food. I mean, how fun is it? Huh? But we cannot do that. For us, we will be killed if we go in the airports. We will find millions waiting for us. They want to slaughter us. So what we do is extremely dangerous. This is not a joke. So we encourage people to be the same as David Wood. We want more. We want. We need an army of peaceful Christians who don't go by the sword, but go by the word, like David Wood and others. So don't let the fool fool you. And this is why I say, never be driven by the devil when somebody says catholic and protestant don't fail into the trap catholic or protestant we are family of christ jesus do not know and he do not recognize something called catholic and protestant he recognize his followers and whoever a priest and a minister he says to you i am the one my church is the only one who will take you to heaven he is like muhammad He's like Al Khomeini. You know Khomeini? He want to give them keys for heaven. Don't follow those people. Follow Christ, my friend. So we have to be smart, vigilant, and don't let the devil divide us. Our word is the sword we use, not a sword to kill. Yes, and our word is sharper than the sword. And as you see, Muslims are leaving us down by thousands and thousands. Go and see how many they are watching my videos in Indonesia. You will not believe it. You will not believe it. It's like... Suddenly, a fire is in the bush, and nobody can stop it. Right? Uh, <clears throat> in India, there is a strong law to do if you do it openly. My friend, you can be an Indian who live in America. You can do it. I mean, you don't have to be an Indian who live in India to do what is against the law. You know, I mean. Uh, you know, we have to be, I mean, me, myself, I am an Arab. I cannot say one word if I am living in the Middle East, right? Okay, well, I'm here. So, 
from all the Indian in the world. There's nobody who live abroad and he can do what he should do. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the answer is so clear. We support those people. We encourage people to be uh, supporting them, donating for them, uh, joining their groups, subscribe to them. And whoever says the opposite, he is a plane between us. He is serving the devil. Again, we will be live on air in a few minutes in this account. How many of you would like to join us? Click at that account, at that link, and we will be there very, very soon. And there we discuss many topics, actually very useful for you. Uh, you know, we'll help you in many things. And we will go over comments of people and people, they can call us and ask questions. And again, the topic there has nothing to do with the garbage of Muhammad. This, that, that one is a clean account. We don't mention garbage. You know, there's no garbage there. So good topic, good talk. Happy Sunday, everybody. So may the Lord bless you. I will be live in the other account very soon. I have actually the link down in the info of this video. You can uh, you can click in it. And here we go. I'm posting it again if you like to join us. And see you again in a few minutes in the quality of life. God bless and Christ is Lord. And uh, hello, David. <laughs> what do you think about David? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> That's a good one. Muslims, try to play something different. I mean, come on. Hello. Do it better. Your prophet, he was like, what about you send me what do you think about the versions? David would. Eh. What do you think about the women with big, uh, <clears throat> you know? What is that, man? You think you can fool me? Hmm. Yeah, all right. All right. See you soon. Christ is our Lord. And we are the Christians. And we will not let them divide us and deceive us. Take care. Bye-bye.